Hey everybody, Adam Kokesh here, and I just have to address this ridiculous idea that's going around on social media right now. Rent is theft. Been seeing the hashtag and some people floating this idea in quasi-libertarian circles, and there's a bit of a, a socialist incursion happening right now in the Libertarian Party, and really, part of what I'm doing with my campaign right now on a national tour that is getting ready to run for president in 2020 on the platform of dissolving the entire federal government is protecting the party from external incursions, especially from the old parties, because in 2020, there's going to be some washed up member of one of these old parties going, oh, we can win the LP nomination, get on the big debate stage. We don't want to let that happen. We need libertarians to take over the libertarian party. But at the same time, we want to make it inclusive. We want to change it from being a debate club to being a political force. And the way we do that is by including people who want to support localization. So if you're a socialist who doesn't want to use violence to create your socialism, who wants to have it in your community as a voluntary system, then I would say you are a libertarian because then socialism is your aesthetics for how you want a community organized, where you're still a libertarian, which is the ethics side of that, of the non-aggression principle, respect for self-ownership and private property rights. So if you're the kind of socialist who says, I want my community here, and I'm not going to impose what we are doing on anybody else, that's fine. You're a libertarian. We want to welcome you. If you're a Democrat, Republican, and that's what you want, localized, community-based government, and you don't want to impose it on me, on my private property, or anybody else, we want to support and encourage and welcome people who feel that way. But if you're coming into the Libertarian Party saying rent is theft, uh, what you're really doing is, is trying to support people committing theft by fraud. And it's really important to understand that we do not support that. We do not encourage that, and we will not stand for that kind of unethical policy that would come uh, implied from the assertion that rent is theft, which is not true. So to understand property rights, you have to understand as a free, beautiful, independent human being, as an independent consciousness, just by virtue of the human reality, we all own ourselves. You are inhabiting a physical body. You own it. No one else does. You know, and if I own my body, you got to get my permission before you use it. You can't just, you know, grab me by the hand and, well, I guess if you were going to use my body, there might be some more nefarious things you'd want to do with it, but, uh, and, and possibly very uncomfortable things, but you have to get my permission. Now, if I mix my labor with the soil, this is the Lockean, you know, concept of property rights. If, if I go and cut down a tree and I build a house, then, you know, I own that because my labor is in that. I put my labor into cutting down the trees and create, you know, crafting the wood and putting the house together and all that. Similarly, if I stake out 10 acres and put a fence around and say, this is my homestead, like I'm doing in Arizona, and I claim that property, that's mine, I own that. There is some subjectivity here, however, and this is a, there is a gray area if you think, well, hey, I can't just put up a fence around a million acres and say I own all of it because I'm interfering with the basic human right to equitable access to natural resources. So, yeah, somewhere between 10 acres and a million acres, there's a little gray area, but we're going to come back to why these sort of illegitimate property claims are important in this conversation about is rent theft. So if I own a building because I built it, I started the property from a state of nature, created it, or I paid someone money to claim that ownership right over it, then I get to decide who comes on that property and when and under what conditions. So if I say one of the conditions is you have to give me money, you have to compensate me because I'm giving you something of value. That's a fair exchange. This is the thing. Rent is not something that you have a right to. You have a right to natural resources. So you have a right to live on this earth. You have a right to claim your fair share of natural resources. You don't have a right to go onto someone else's property and be able to just do whatever you want with it. So if I say, hey, I'm giving you this value. This is a free, fair exchange of value where there's no coercion. There's no violence involved. I'm going to let you use my property for whatever purposes, under whatever terms we agree to. You're going to give me money or better yet, Bitcoin or um, I don't know, maybe you want to pay in weed, whatever the case may be, right? So if, if these criteria are met and you have a, a voluntary exchange, you have someone who legitimately owns property, rent is not theft. Now, this is where a lot of these socialists try to twist the words and include other things. 
and say that that you know that qualifies as rent. So I'll give you an example where you could hypothetically twist the definition and say that rent is theft. And this is the Bundy Ranch example. You know, they've been uh, farming cattle in Nevada for many, many generations using public lands that is unclaimed land. They're not claiming it is theirs. They're just saying, hey, this is an unused natural resource. We're running our cattle around it and grazing them. And then this is something that the market supports. People want to consume cattle. I will point out, I don't eat meat, but uh, well, I, I, I do not support the production of animal products. We'll put it that way. And um, I, when, when the BLM came in and said, you don't have the right to do that, when the federal government said, you have to pay us rent to use that grazing, it's not that that rent is actually theft. It's that their original claim to property is illegitimate. The government had just you know, put up a fence around everything and said, we own everything in it. That's not a legitimate property claim. So for them to charge, it's, it's like the theft here is not actually in the federal government charging rent to the Bundys. The theft is from humanity when the government says we own all this territory and we get to charge people rent within that. So, you know, it's tempting to say that this is theft, but it's really the illegitimate property claim that is. And of course, when they went to steal the cattle, that was theft too. So getting screwed by a landlord is something that a lot of us have experienced. And it's really tempting to just get angry. And when you're not educated in basic economic principles, uh, to sound smart when you're spouting off and say things like rent is theft and screw my landlord and blah, 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 blah. And it's a lot of, you know, angry, ignorant people who end up being led by the nose into socialism because they don't understand these basic economic concepts. So if you are getting screwed by a landlord who is not fulfilling their commitment to give you water or electricity or do the repairs that are the you know conditions of the contract, they're still not stealing from you because you can walk away at any time. There's no forceful taking of property. There's no fraud. Uh, I mean, I guess hypothetically there could be. So, okay, here's, here's an example where you could say rent is theft, but it's not that rent is theft. It's that fraudulent rent is theft. You know, if I say here's a house and it's, uh, it's all in great condition and then two days later it collapses and, and your family dies, um, you, you could say that that's a, a form of fraud. And, and uh, yeah, in, in that sense, kind of extrapolate it to theft. But that's not really what we're talking about. It's still just a contract violation. So words have meaning. And it's really important that we honor the meaning of words and that we're precise in their use of them. So I want to look up here. I'm going to pull this up. The definition uh, of rent. Uh, rent is a rock musical with music, lyrics, and book by Jonathan Larson, loosely based on Giacomo Puccini's opera La Boheme. It tells the story of a group of impoverished young artists struggling to survive and create a life in New York City's East Village in the thriving days of Bohemian Alphabet City under the shadow of HIV AIDS. Oh, that's, no, that's the musical with, with that song. Everyone has AIDS. Da, 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 da. Yeah, wait, no, okay, so um, that was Wikipedia's definition of rent. Let's go to uh, dictionary.com. All right, rent. A tenant's regular payment to a landlord for the use of property or land, or as a verb, to pay someone for the use of something, typically property, land, or a car. Really simple. That's rent. It's not theft. Taxation is theft. And that's it for today. Peace, love, and freedom. Mwah.